best of the best for long wear, longevity, those are the same things. Wearing long, being good at wearing makeup for a long time. Welcome to the 2023 Summer Beauty Awards. I got my celebratory sequin shirt on, so I'm ready to go. I like to do these every year to let you know the best of the best of specifically summer makeup. So I hold summer makeup to a slightly higher standard. It needs to withstand sweat. It needs to have good longevity. It just needs to work well in the summer. So these are all of my top picks for this year. A lot of fun stuff to get into. So let's go ahead and hop in. So because I have tons of products to talk about, I'm not gonna spend a long time on each product. It's gonna be pretty quick. Get ready, buckle your seat belts. Let's get started. I'm gonna start in the skincare category. I only have a couple, but I wanted to mention just my favorites that I've been absolutely loving for my skin. First is a new brand that I hadn't tried before until I tried this product out. So this is from Mother Science. This bottle is beautiful. This is their Molecular Hero Serum with Malazian. So it says that this serum helps dramatically reduce reduce the appearance of dark spots, lines, and wrinkles. Ever since I started using this a couple months ago, my skin has been looking so like firm and plump and glowy. I've never had one serum really give me such good results. I've noticed a little bit of lightening with dark spots that I have on my face. I'm really excited to continue to use this to see how the results get even better, but so far it's just such a beautiful serum. It has a slightly thicker texture to it. It's been really soothing, great for my sensitive skin, and it's such a staple in my skincare routine for the summer months. Next is another newer brand to me, which is the brand Orpheus. This is their Resurrection All-in-One Serum with Youth Restoring Orpheus Flower Cell Peptide Complex. This is essentially a really hydrating serum. I love the texture of it. It's quite thin. It layers beautifully with all of my other products. Another serum that just makes my skin feel so nice and soothed and relaxed. Great for sensitive skin. It's a little bit plumping. It just adds that hydration into my routine, especially being in the sun and stuff, sweating. I feel like that dehydrates my skin even more. So something like this, I've just been loving. But more specifically, this one is one of my favorites. And then for moisturizer, if you have oily skin or if you get sweaty and you want something for the daytime or even the nighttime that doesn't feel heavy on your skin that you can layer under sunscreen and is just the perfect base for makeup as well. This is one of my favorite moisturizers of all time, but especially in the summer, Peach and Lily Glass Skin Water Gel Moisturizer. That name kind of says it all. It's a water gel. It's so refreshing. I've tried a lot of other gel moisturizers, but none of them quite feel as nice as this one. And also it does not pill under any other product that I've tried it with, especially sunscreen. So that makes it truly unique. It's hyaluronic acid, kiwi extract, and peach extract. It's the perfect texture. It's so beautiful. If you see this at Ulta and you have oily skin or you just want something that's really lightweight feeling but still gives you moisture, this is unbeatable. For sunscreens, I only have two here because I have a full sunscreen video of all of my favorites. If you want to watch that, it's all about mineral sunscreens. I have two new ones here that were not mentioned in that video, so I really want to mention them now. First, I will start with the face sunscreen. This I tried after that video, but it's quickly become one of my favorites. This is also a mineral sunscreen. It's the Iris and Romeo, which is a brand at Credo. Best Skin Days, 5-in-1 Skincare Dewy Coverage in Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This comes in a couple different shades. This one is shade 1, which is a really nice neutral shade for fair skin. I don't find it too dark. And it comes in this pot. I thought something like this would be too thick, kind of just looking at it. I'm not usually a huge fan of like tinted sunscreens that are in this type of packaging or formula, but this one is beautiful. It's definitely more on the lightweight side, which I was not expecting. The pigment is really smooth throughout it, so you don't have to do a lot of work working it in, and the coverage is also nice. It's like a nice light coverage, not super sheer, but just gives you that even tone that you want works well under makeup but it's also my favorite just to throw on to get a little bit of coverage but also sunscreen protection for the face so i'm only able to use mineral sunscreens on my face because my face breaks out to chemical formulas but for some reason it doesn't happen to my body and i heavily prefer a chemical sunscreen especially for reapplication because they're just so much thinner i do have a favorite mineral body sunscreen i will link that one below but this one has been my go-to. This is from Kapari. This is their Sun Shield Body Glow SPF 50. I tried this last year, absolutely fell in love with this. I think they also have a rose gold shade now. 
this is like an oil gel so it makes you look so glowy and shiny so it is definitely a slightly oily consistency but especially if you're putting it all over your body it's really moisturizing and it looks so beautiful it does have a very light sort of like tropical scent but it's not heavy at all i personally do not mind it it's like a vanilla tropical scent the glow is beautiful. It's a thin texture. It's just one of the most enjoyable body sunscreens to wear, which is really important, especially if you want to remember to like reapply it. And I've not been burned wearing this yet. So one of my favorites for sure. So when I think of summer skin prep for makeup, I think of beautiful, glowy, but still lightweight products. And that sort of encapsulates what this is. The Say Glowy Super Gel. This is a water-based formula. This is the lighter shade, but I also have the bronze shade. I kind of mix these. This one's like a little bit dark, but if you have like a tan going on or if you just have medium to deep skin, this would be a beautiful one. These are very lightweight. The shimmer in them is so fine that even in the sunlight, it's not gonna look like shimmer or glitter on your skin, which is part of my strict criteria for all of these products is they can't have chunky glitter that you can see in the sunlight because it just looks so makeup-y. These are beautiful. They're lightweight. They go especially well with that Peach and Lily moisturizer and they work really well on your makeup. As long as your foundation is water-based, I usually don't have an issue with them, but they're so glowy. It gives you like that super glowy definition of summer skin. I'll start with lighter coverage foundations and we'll work our way up to full coverage. If you want something very lightweight that's more of a light coverage, this bad boy is pricey but it is one of the most beautiful foundations i've ever tried the Shantikai feature skin cushion i use the shade alabaster this is a refillable product i like to apply it with a little sponge if i want something that's light but i still want coverage if i know i'm going to be like sweaty i always go for something that's more light coverage because if it were to wear off it looks a lot less obvious than a super full coverage foundation so this is my go-to. It's more of a hydrating formula versus being super moisturizing or heavy, which is also something I love about it, is even if you do get oily or sweaty, it doesn't like add to it and feel cakey or oily or like just nasty feeling. Really beautiful. Also, if you wanted to do just like this with like a bold lip and some mascara at night, it also works well for that. This is again, pricey, but beautiful. These next two are sort of tied for medium coverage. So let's start with the Kosas Revealer Foundation. This is definitely thicker than the Shantikai foundation. It's a step up. Also has SPF 25, which do not rely on this for sun protection, but it's a nice additional layer. This is beautiful. I've mentioned it so many times. I wear it all the time. It's more of that like medium weight consistency, also medium coverage that can really be built up. It looks beautiful. It has that perfect satin skin finish. It wears well and it gives you just a really pretty skin-like glow. It's such a great everyday foundation, but also you can use it for so many different scenarios. Like you could thin it out, you can make it full coverage for something glam. It's so versatile. It is one of my favorite foundations of all time. Kosas was having 20% off sale. I'm not sure if it's still active. I will link it below if it is. Next up, I wanted to mention the Surat Dewdrop Foundation. I recently tried this and really love the finish and consistency. It is super thin. This isn't the most super duper long wearing, but it does wear a pretty good amount of time. Gives you more like medium light coverage, but it's definitely buildable. This just looks so extremely skin-like and it's really hard to get this to look or be cakey and it works with a lot of other base products. So that's why I love it. It's another pricey product, but the finish of it is just so undetectable. It's my favorite thing about it. Next is the foundation I have on today. This is a tried and true product of mine. It made it in last year's video and it's also making it into this year's. These are the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundations. This is not something I would wear maybe to like a day at the beach or like anything where I know my makeup has the possibility of wearing off. Well, I'll rephrase that. It's so full coverage. It's like a second skin that's smoother and it's just such an undescribably beautiful foundation. I do have a specific way of applying it to get it to look its absolute best. Um, I usually mix these two shades, by the way, which are also great if you have fair olive skin. They make really nice, like, neutrally warm shades. This one's pale, and then this one is nude. So I use this with a sponge. You'll have to work pretty quickly with this because it does dry down, and it doesn't really layer well, so make sure that you get enough to sort of spread all over your 
section of your face at one time and it does have a very matte finish that you don't really need powder with i don't have powder around my face i just have it under my eyes if you have oily skin or you want something like very glam that you could wear at night to dinner or whatever this is absolutely perfect for those kinds of situations it does wear extremely well but it's just not something I would risk like being around water or anything that like if it could wear off it would look really obvious because it's so full coverage you could really see the skin underneath but it is absolutely gorgeous if you want a super glam full coverage moment two of my favorite concealers of the summer are the thrive cosmetics buildable blur hd creaseless concealer this was something i pulled out last summer and used a ton and it's also happened to me this year again the reason I love this for summer is because it's so lightweight, but it still has a medium coverage. A lot of lightweight concealers are either too emollient or oily or not enough coverage, so they really crease on me. But the fact that they made this very thin formula that is very crease resistant and long wearing is so beautiful because it really doesn't feel like makeup on your skin but still does the job. And then another classic and one that I have on today is the Jouer Concealer. I'm almost empty. I and running through these so quickly. This is the lightest shade Lace. This is super full coverage. It's really thin and it just blends out beautifully. It goes really nice with the NYX foundation. It just gives that perfect amount of coverage. It's one of the least creasy concealers on me ever, so that's why it's one of my favorites. And it just always works. It's so dependable. My setting powder pick is the Haley's Retouch Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This stuff is mattifying, it's smoothing, it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't add weight to your makeup, so it's just perfect. It's fragrance-free, cruelty-free, blurring, long-lasting, and on the more affordable side, it's kind of like a replacement for my Elia powder, which I love, but it looks really similar and it's a little bit cheaper and beautiful. Really recommend this. I feel like even if you had dry skin, you would like this in moderation. I also wanted to mention some powder foundation formulas in case you like powder foundation or if you use them like I use them, which is usually just to set my makeup and add a little bit of extra coverage. These are three of the best of all time. First is the Pure Mineral Foundation. This also has SPF 15, so it adds a little bit of coverage. It's super thin. It has more of like a medium coverage, like it's not super full. So it's just nice to use as a little bit of boost and it wears beautifully. And then we have the Alima Pure Satin Matte Foundation, another favorite. This is slightly heavier than the Pure one, but if you use a light layer or it's one of those foundations that actually gets better as you wear it because it sort of heats up with your skin and like melts in. I have the shade Olive Zero. This is a tried and true product. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about it. And then a new to me powder foundation that I really love as well is from Laura Geller. This went viral a while back. This is the Baked Bounce and Brighten foundation. This is the shade Porcelain. So it sort of has like three different shades mixed in there. And I love this one as well because it's lightweight. You know, I love baked products and this has like a slight glow to it, but it's not too glowy where you end up looking like a disco ball or anything. That perfect, like slightly glowy finish if you didn't want something totally matte. Moving into our bronzer category, I will start with creams, another product from Thrive. These are their color sticks and these are the bronzer versions. These are so beautiful. They're pigmented, they're more of a matte finish, super long lasting, and the shades are great for fair skin. I will swatch two of my favorites. This first one is a bit warmer, but look how light and perfect that is for a fair skin bronzer. And then this next one is sort of more of a contour shade. This is the shade Mo, which as you can tell has like a slight more warmth, like reddish undertone to it. I use both of these interchangeably. I have this one on today because I wanted more of like a contour vibe going on. They're so smooth, they're so blendable. They do add like a little bit of coverage to your cheeks as well, which is perfect and they last forever on the face. Next bronzers, everyone loves a good bronzer in the summer, right? Even if you're not tanning, just having that glow to your face is perfect. So I have three options, starting with the matte one and a drugstore option. The Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder is a perfect bronzer for fair skin. If you want something that's more on the affordable side, it's a really, really creamy matte. It's mediumly pigmented, so it's not super pigmented, but also not super sheer. It does have like a slight, as you can tell compared to like these other shades, it's a little bit more orange, but use in moderation. It's not too orange. It looks really natural. Especially on fair skin, this is a great shade. And you know I'm obsessed with baked formulas, so the next two are some of my favorite baked bronzers. 
First, this is one from Well People. You can find this at Target. This is the Super Powder Bronzing Powder. So this doesn't necessarily look like it would be something that worked for my skin tone, but it's actually really beautiful. It does have more of a warmth to it, but it is a quite sheer bronzer. And it also has like a silver shimmer in it that is slightly, it's not chunky, but it's definitely like noticeable. But I find that when you actually blend it onto your skin, I have this on today, most of the shimmer basically sort of like doesn't really stick to your skin. So it makes it just even more natural looking and it's such a great bronzer from Target. Okay, this one, uh, my compact is broken, but you know, this is a tried and true fave of mine. Flower Beauty Heat Wave Luminous Bronzer Baked Formula. This is the lightest shade. This is so smooth, it's so pretty. The shade of it, it's definitely more pigmented than the Well People one. The shade of it is like slightly more red, but if you use like a very light layer, it looks beautiful on fair skin. It's definitely the most red out of all of these, but it just works so beautifully. I love the Baked Formula because it's a little bit glowy, but not noticeable at all in terms of like glitter for blushes let's start with creams again if i want like a super glowy blushy blush i don't know what that means just like the perfect summer glowy blush westman atelier i've been reaching for this one this is the shade coquette which is a really perfect neutral pink these are definitely more on the matte side so they're actually quite long wearing but still give you that like really glowy expensive looking cheek and i just love this neutral pink another one that is quite pigmented is the p louise the cheek of it flirty flush of color liquid blush i don't love this shade but i love the formula this is ballet slipper which is just slightly more warm than what i usually go for but these are so nice and pigmented they work really well like on top of foundations or even under really like thin creamy they set down to be matte Another really long lasting formula. I didn't know whether to categorize this as a blush or a bronzer. It's kind of both to me. I use it sort of as like a bronzer blush topper. This is the iconic London Kiss by the Sun Cheek Glow. I think the shade is so cheeky. So they came out with these powders and a bunch of different shades that you can use kind of however you want. And that's basically how I use them. This shade specifically is like a mix between a bronzer and a blush it's actually really shimmery like it kind of is a highlight level finish but what i do is i take a sheer brush i have it on today and i sort of go like in between where my bronzer and blush is just a tiny bit and it just gives you the most reflective glowy summer bronze look and this shade specifically is my favorite they also have like bronze options this one works really well for my fair skin just one of those products that like takes a look the next level my favorite blush is probably no surprise to you i've been obsessed with this the rms beauty baked blushes these just give you such an unreal glow like the finish to them in the shade this is french rose this is a really nice cool tone pink i have it on today of course the shimmer is so fine like it doesn't look like shimmer once you have it on it's just like you're glowy but it's a powder so indescribable, so worth the money. One of my favorite blushes of all time. I just, if this is in my makeup drawer, I reach for it over anything else. And then my highlight pick for the summer is definitely this House Labs highlight. This is the Moonstone shade, which is silver. This is another baked product. I love baked products, especially for summer because they have that type of shimmer that doesn't look like shimmer in the sunlight or in real life or like if you're in more bright situations the silver tone i never thought that like a silver highlight would be the perfect undertone for me but if you have like fair neutral olive skin or cool skin this is so perfect i have this on today as well it's the perfect undertone it does not cast dark it's that perfect amount of shimmer where it's not too much it's buildable it's just so pretty an eyeshadow palette that i've been reaching for a lot because it's so easy and it's just like has everything you need basically this is from victoria beckham this is the signature palette i just love the tones in these these are super like pastel and neutral as a transition shade you can deepen and then you could do like a smoky liner i love how small portable and just like easy this is it really takes like 
the guesswork out of like you know what kind of eyeshadow look that i do especially in the summer if you don't necessarily want to spend like a ton of time on your makeup and these are beautiful like matte slightly shimmery formulas they blend themselves they're just perfect i also had to give a mention to this disney house of siage eyeshadow quint this uh, is a very luxury brand but this is actually over half off on their site now so if you wanted this palette definitely grab it while it is on sale also, I believe this collection is like limited, so I think it's going to be off of their site soon. So this is a five eyeshadow palette. They're all shimmers. They're some of the most beautiful shimmers that I've ever used. They're so creamy, like they almost feel like a literal cream. I used this in my luxury makeup video if you want to see a full look, but I also had this on my eyes today. I'll give you a couple swatches. I mean, the pigment is insane. And again, they just have that perfect level of shimmer where it's shimmery and it's glowy without being glittery and they're just gorgeous. I also just had to give a quick shout out to the ColourPop Super Shocks because if you want that one and done type of eyeshadow, these come in multiple different finishes. This one specifically is an ultra glitter. If you want something really glowy that you could just like throw on for dinner, it's perfect. So this is a white and it has like a silver reflect in it almost has like a sheer base to it. It's just such a pretty topper shade. You can't go wrong with these. They're creamy, they're really easy to use, and they just make you look glam without being too much again, and like they don't feel heavy either. I also had to give a mention to eyeshadow sticks because they're so easy to use during the summer, just as like a smoky liner as a, or as a one shade type of look, and they're very long lasting. So I have two here, one from Laura Mercier and then one from Jouer. These are both beautiful, Super long lasting formulas. See, they're both like a, this one's actually like a matte. It has a slight shimmer in it from Laura Mercier. This just smudged on the lash line is like a smoky liner. Perfect, more glam look. And then this one's like a pewert, really shimmery gray. I also have used this as a liner. They're so beautiful, easy to use, and like I mentioned, super long lasting. My brow faves have been a new to me brand. This is Kimiko, hope I'm saying that correctly. So I have their super fine eyebrow pencil. This is just a beautiful, fine eyebrow pencil. It does the job, it lasts well. Like there's not a ton of stuff to say about eyebrow pencils other than that, but it's just perfect. And then I also have been really loving their brow gel, which is the Brow Sensei. This has a really nicely shaped brush. It's not too thin of a formula where it's like runny, but it's not like a waxy formula either. There's a really nice like medium amount of hold as well and pairs well with that brow pencil. I've also been really enjoying the Rose Ink Brow Gel, which I have in my brows today. What I love about this is this little like dome shaped brush. This is also like, it's more of like a brow wax. Is it called a brow gel? It's called a gel, but it's like a really interesting, like definitely more thin. It doesn't give you that shiny or crunchy look. Like my brows feel so soft still, but they have that like hold of my brows being lifted and held up. Really nice product. Oh, Rose Ink is also, I believe, having a summer sale right now for 25% off. Again, if it's still running, which I think it is, check below. Three of my fave lip liners for summer that are long lasting and really creamy. First, starting with this Thrive Cosmetics formula. This is a twist up, really fine point. I have this one on today. It's easy to use, it's long lasting. What more could you want? Same goes for the ColourPop Lippy Pencil and BFF. I used to not love these lip pencil formulas. I'm not sure if they reformulated them, but this one, Cool BFF, is such the perfect cool nude. This has replaced my beloved Lime Crime Topist. If you have cool or olive fair skin, you have a really hard time finding true like cool tone lip liners, try this guy out. Let me swatch that Thrive one for you as well. So that's the Thrive one that I have on today. And then lastly, we have the NYX Line Loud. These are really creamy. I describe these as like a liquid lip, basically in a pencil form. Like they are so, like they really dry down and do not move. And this is a really pretty shade. This one is Fierce Flirt. So this is really great like all over the lips as well. Before we do lipsticks, I wanna mention some like juicy type of lip treatment options. First is this EXO All Smiles Lip Oil. I've been really liking this, especially since it has this really cool like shimmer running through it. It's a thin, has like a slightly fruity scent. 
thin-ish balmy consistency it's not too oily which i really like in a lip treatment same goes for this thrive one this is their glossy lip hydrating serum in jean looks like this would be like too peachy for me but it actually is just so sheer really beautiful might not even be able to see that just again balmy really great to wear with a lip liner or even just on its own and then for more of a pigmented lip treatment these from soshi are so pretty these are the ceramide lip silks especially if your lips got like sunburnt or dehydrated these are so freaking creamy and smooth like they literally feel like butter on your lips this one is the shade speak easy i have a full swatch video of all of the shades that i own if you want to see that but this one's one of my favorite like neutral brown and then for lipsticks one of my favorites so this is a total dupe for the victoria beckham posh lipstick formula not necessarily the shade they feel exactly like the victoria beckham ones but a much more affordable price these are from flower beauty they make such good lip products I don't love this packaging, but I do love the formula. This is the Perfect Pout. I think that's the shade name. Okay, it's the Perfect Pout Lipstick, which is the really moisturizing formula. And this is the shade Blush Rose, which is such a pretty, neutrally, mauve pink. Again, if you have cool or olive skin and you want a really flattering, cool tone shade, love this one from flower beauty my favorite matte formula lately has been the Shantakai lay matte stylos this one's the shade aster which i have on today they make the most flattering pinks in this line i love this one so much they're so creamy i love how small the tips are because you can really just like get a precise shape so this is a really pretty like light watermelon ish pink but it's definitely more on the neutral cool side so it's super flattering and then lastly, for something that's like sheer but still gives you color, these are so interesting. They're the Juice Beauty Liquid Lips, which when you hear that, you think it's going to be like fully pigmented, but it's not really. It's just, it's so freaking interesting. It's like a moisturizing liquid lip formula. The shade is perfect, as you can tell. I definitely have a very specific taste in shades. This to just throw on, it looks so good on its own. Like it's definitely a purse staple. And then I definitely wanted to mention some setting sprays. If you want something that will actually extend the wear of your makeup, this one from Thrive is really good. It's the Instant Makeup Fix Set and Refresh Spray, 16 hour crease free technology. You know, some spray, you know some setting sprays just don't do a lot. This one actually like locks in your makeup, but it's not too drying either. It just like melts in powder, extends the wear of it. It does, I don't know if it necessarily makes it creaseless, but it definitely makes my makeup wear better. And then this is just such a staple as like an all around hydrating, soothing spray. You can use as a setting mist if you want a more glowy finish. From Heritage Store, the Rose Water and Glycerin Spray. The fact that it has glycerin, I would recommend this one over the original one if you want something to help with the longevity of makeup, especially before makeup. It's so soothing. Definitely more on the affordable side as well. And it's just like I reach for all the time to refresh, to set, do all the things. And then I really wanted to mention a fragrance. As you can tell, I am almost out of that, which is surprising. I rarely ever finish fragrances from Pacifica, Neon Moon. Smells so good. It's more of an affordable perfume. If you have like reactions to a lot of fragrances or you're fragrance sensitive like I am, this one I haven't had problems with. Everyone is different in what they're allergic to, but I believe because it's mostly naturally derived, it does not bother me at all. It's just like citrusy and light and like a little vanilla-y and it definitely is more of a subtle scent as well, which I like. I don't like really being able to like smell my own perfume that much and this is like perfect. I wish they made this in like a body spray, like a body hair scent mist, like all the things. Such a beautiful fragrance. I think a lot of people will enjoy this as well. It's pretty like, it's pretty lovable. That was a lot. I feel like I'm losing my voice, but those were all of my summer favorites. They're just the best of the best for summer makeup. I would love to know in the comments below if you have some favorite makeup products for summer. Let me know actually if you change your makeup routine or makeup products that you, that you use in summer versus other seasons. I definitely do and these are some of my most reach for beautiful products. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful because the YouTube algorithm sucks lately and I will see you in my next video. Bye.